CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam. Questions 11 through 15. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 11. A network administrator is configuring a new switch and needs to connect multiple ports to a core switch in an effort to increase redundancy and bandwidth. Which of the following configurations would best meet this requirement? The answer is B. Link aggregation. Link aggregation combines multiple physical links into a single logical connection to increase bandwidth and provide redundancy between switches. This prevents bottlenecks and allows traffic to be dynamically distributed across multiple links. Protocols like LACP or Link Aggregation Control Protocol help manage this process automatically, ensuring efficient load balancing and failover protection. Question 12. A system administrator is configuring an email client to send messages securely using encryption. To ensure outgoing emails are properly secured, which of the following ports should be used? The answer is B, 587. Port 587 is used for SMTPS, also known as SMTP with TLS encryption, to securely transmit outgoing emails. Using this form of the SMTP protocol ensures messages are encrypted during transmission, preventing interception by unauthorized parties. Most modern email providers require port 587 for secure email submission, as it enforces security best practices and prevents emails from being sent over unencrypted channels. Question 13. After a security audit revealed unauthorized access to sensitive data, a company wants to improve its overall network security by enforcing stricter user policies. Which of the following would be the best to implement? The answer is A. Least privileged network access. Least privileged network access ensures that users and devices only have the minimum permissions necessary to perform their tasks, reducing the risk of unauthorized access. By limiting access to only what is required, organizations can better protect sensitive data and minimize potential security breaches. Question 14. A company is implementing a VPN solution for remote employees and wants to minimize the impact on its internal network bandwidth. Which of the following features of a split-tunnel VPN provides a cost-effective advantage? The answer is C. Internet-based traffic flows outside of the company's network. A split-tunnel VPN routes only necessary traffic through the corporate network while allowing internet-based traffic, such as cloud services, web browsing, and streaming, to go directly to the internet. This reduces bandwidth consumption on the company's network, lowering costs, and improving performance for business-critical applications. Question 15. A network technician is investigating voice call quality issues reported by remote employees using a voice over IP application. The office has two internet links configured for load balancing. Which of the following tools should the technician use to determine which link is handling the voice over IP traffic? The answer is D, trace RT. The trace RT command maps the path that packets take to reach a destination, showing each hop along the route. In a dual link load balanced environment, this command can help determine which internet link is handling the voice over IP traffic by revealing the next hop gateway. So did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.